Hi everyone. In this tutorial, we are going to learn about how to install Qt Creator. Before starting the video, I need to be clear that this Qt software is a proprietary of Qt company. This software installation and the information of video is just for the purpose of how to install and run the Qt software. We have not made this video for any kind of a promotional and a commercial purposes. So to install Qt Creator by using the online method is just go to oh, any of your browser and type Qt installing in it. You will get the first link get and install Qt. Go to that link. Before downloading or installing Qt, you need to have a Qt account. So you need to sign in into the Qt account. If you don't have the Qt account, you need to create a Qt account. So to begin, we need to log in into the Qt account. So I already logged in, so that's why I need to make logout for this session. Then I need to again log back in. You will redirect it to this page. So where we need to, uh, if you where we need to create an QT account, so just click on the QT account, create account. Then you need to enter your credentials here. Then you need to create your account. So I already created. That's why I'm just logging in into it. After that, I will get this home screen. Then I need to click on this link by QT now or start for free. Then I need to go down here and download the QT for open source usage. Click on this link. Then in this page, Qt for open source development, I need to get go down here and I need to download the Qt online installer. Again in this page, I need to download this download. So we will get downloaded in any of your downloads. So just save them. Then open it. The EXA will run and it will ask for the Qt login credentials. So initially you need to give your whatever the Qt account login credentials are there. You need to give that one and you need to press next. And you need to agree the Qt licensing terms and conditions. So if you are using for a company or your business, you need to enter your business name. So I am not using any of the business or the company purpose, so I am just signing it like I am an individual and I do not use QT for any company. Press on the next. This will take around 15 to 20 minutes based on your internet speed. If your internet speed is having faster, then it will be like 15 to 20 minutes, else it will take around 30 to 45 minutes based on your internet speed. So when you just uh, click on this help us being provided by enabling sending pseudonymous message, pseudonymous usage statistics in Qt Creator, press on next. And you need to browse a specific path. So I already have installed a Qt. I don't know. I need to browse a different and um, directory. So I'm just here and I'm selecting a empty folder and this one custom installation you need to opt for this custom installation and you need to press next in this you need to select few of you don't need the Qt design studio so remove the Qt design studio there are the Qt versionings Qt 6.5.0 beta 1 I don't I won't suggest you to download the beta 1 Okay, then the Qt 6.4.1, 6, Qt 6.3.2, Qt 6.2.4, Qt 5.15.2. So I am suggesting you to download 5.15.2. 
so in this based on your system architecture download the whether if you are having the 64 bit download the 64 bit if you are having 32 bit download the red bit so download the MinGW like uh, select this MinGW 64 bit then the QT uh, sources QT charts QT 3D data visualization Lottie animation purchasing visual, virtual keyboard web engine network authorization webgl script debug quick timeline then press next you need to agree for this license agreement press on the next next and it will requires like 10.98 gig of your disk space just press install it will start to install after pressing the install after completing of the installation just it will shows the finish you have been finished so just search go to your windows and search qt creator you will get the qt creator it will take few seconds to open this one then you'll directly uh, you can see the welcome screen directly after that one you need to for you have installed the in the correct manner just you need to create a, a new project here just create a new project a file new project we qt application in this one qt Quick application choose then give a sample programming name like file project name next 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 and there will be like all the kits just select any one of them like mingw 64 bit for desktop i am selecting this one and i am finishing it so here uh, we can see that one there is a program already they have written just run it it will start to build then it will show us a lower yeah we have installed correctly so just take uh, whether your program is working then make an rectangle give width and height for it width of 100 and height of under give some color now we need to get a correct angle yeah we got it finally we completed the installation and we have run an example that's it this is the procedure to download and install download the qt and install it and to run a program